English Football League Championship. Birmingham City 2, Cardiff City 1. Last 1, Queen's Park Rangers 0. Bournemouth 1, Sheffield Wednesday 0. Bristol City 1, Norwich City 2. Charlton Athletic 1, Preston North End 3. Leeds United 1, 2. Reading 0, Derby County 1. Sheffield United 0, Wolverhampton Wanderers 1. Wigan Athletic 1, Fulham 2. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Aston Villa with 16 points. In second, Fulham with 16 points. In third, Norwich City with 15 points. In fourth, Queen's Park Rangers with 15 points. In fifth, Derby County with 13 points. In sixth, Preston North End with 13 points. In 7th, Brentford with 13 points. In 8th, Ipswich Town with 11 points. Bottom of the table, Wigan Athletic with 1 point. And then reading up the table, 2nd bottom, Bristol City with 2 points. 3rd bottom, Reading with 3 points. 4th bottom, Sheffield Wednesday with 3 points. 5th bottom, Birmingham City with 4 points. Champions Cup. CSKA Moscow 0, Bayer Leverkusen 1, Celtic 1, Monaco 2, Barcelona 1, Olympic Lyonnais 0. English Football League Championship. Aston Villa 2, Brentford 1. Birmingham City 1, Wolverhampton Wanderers 1. Blackburn Rovers 0, Queen's Park Rangers 1. Bolton Wanderers 0, Derby County 2. Bournemouth 2, Preston North End 1. Bristol City 1, Fulham 2. Charlton Athletic 2, Sheffield United 2. Ipswich Town 2, Brighton and Hove Albion 0. Leeds United 1, Norwich City 0. Nottingham Forest 1, Cardiff City 1. Reading 2, Sheffield Wednesday 1. Wigan Athletic 2, Rotherham United 2. And let's take a look at what those results mean to the league table. English Football League Championship. Brentford 1, Ipswich Town 0. Brighton and Hove Albion 2, Charlton Athletic 2. Cardiff City 3, Reading 1. Derby County 2, 
Bristol City, Norwich City, nil. On Bournemouth, one. At the top of the table, we have new leaders in Queen's Park, three points. County with 22 points. In fifth, Brentford with nice. In seventh, Preston North End with 17 points. In eighth of the table, Wigan Athletic with two points. And then third bottom, Charlton Athletic with six points. Fourth bottom, Birmingham City with six points. Fifth bottom, Sheffield Wednesday with six points.
Should have a fine game for you today. Welcome to it. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. It's going to be very tough for the opposition today to break down the home team's defence. When you look at the stats, very few teams have broken them down. And I think what makes this team so hard to beat is the fact that everybody works hard out of possession. It starts at the front with the strikers. Check for you on how Brentford will line up for this match. The shot's on! Up for grabs here. Now McLeod. Judge. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Into a quite a dangerous position now. Letting the shot go. It was a good side of goal, but he skied it. Was good progress with this attack. In with a chance. Well, he's put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance has come to him so early in the game. But I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off. And they've taken the lead here. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Number 19, Elvis Manning. Josh McEachran. 
judge. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Well, he's beaten his man. And here's the shot. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. He's coming. It's a quick break. And now the shot. What a good way to score. The way they moved the ball about there, Martin, before creating the chance was really good. They picked the right pass every time there. Well, he's hit it hard and he's hit it first time, but perhaps the keeper could have got more on that. Restarting at 2-0. Brighton and Hove Albion goal, number 26. Goal is from Bournemouth. It's a goal for Bournemouth. 20 minutes played, 1 0. Well, so many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Well, that's good support as they build this attack. Hunt. They've set it up well for the cross. It wasn't a great cross in truth. Here's a chance to attack. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Attacking now. And here comes the counter-attack. Shot on! Oh, that's what we've come to see. That's a brilliant goal. Well, good finish, no doubt, Martin. But what about the play before that? What about the passing? Wonderful team effort. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Well, they've widened the margin now. 3-0 they lead. Brighton and Albion, number 26, Chris O'Brady. Hoffman. Now McLeod. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. He's got his shot off now. Oh, well, credit for the effort, the intention, but the technique was poor. On the attack here, and he could get away here. And shoots! Splendid goal here. Patrick, goal number three here. And it's a perfect day for the player. What a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match, and he thoroughly deserves that hat trick. So they're looking for more at 4 0. Judge. Attacking well here. Judge. Free kick here. They cope with it well defensively. Cooper. Well, there's going to be three minutes added on. Made the challenge well. Judge. believe what we've seen in the first half half time so good at defending in the previous game
for happy days, Alan. Three goals safely banked by the forward. And he's getting a, a real ovation as he's replaced now. Yeah, he showed us all his qualities with the taking of those three goals. He's, he's got a cool head in front of goal, hasn't he? Good forward play from them. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Post. Well, all credit for shooting, but it wasn't a very good shot. Well, the home team has been outplayed, and the home supporters have lost their will to support, I think. Well, haven't they just? You could hear a pin drop here. Seen one or two heading for the exits, they're not impressed. Defender to it first. And Cooper. They've lost the ball in a bad area. And that's good support as they build this attack. Josh McEachran. Shots on here. Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. Got the tackle in. Woods. We've had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. Throw in to come. Well, we love to see players who want to get at the opposition, and this uh, attacking midfield player's done that today. And now he's going to just get the reward for it. He's going to sit out the last few minutes and get a great applause from the crowd. Yeah, and why not? He's one of those players with the knack for finding space in the box, arriving late, very much in the Frank Lampard mould. Comes in with a tackle. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Good play, but they've lost the ball now, and the opposition can get at them. That's out, it'll be a throw. Oliver Norwood. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. In quickly. Josh McEachran. Position changes feet. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. And shoots! Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. How about Brighton's next match, Alan? They're playing Birmingham City in their next match in the Championship. And it's a headed effort at goal. Oh, so close. Hits hit the crossbar. Side able to dwell on the ball. Space for the shot! But he's had a go. Well, if you don't buy a ticket, as they say, and uh, fair play to him for having a crack. Hunt. Read the play well to intercept. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Norwood. A goal from uh, Bournemouth. It's another goal for Bournemouth. Four minutes remain. 4 1. Well, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Terrific tackle. Now McLeod. Could be dangerous. Two ooze around the uh, crowd for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. The break is definitely on. 
cut off, and he scores. Well, that really is got been salted to the wounds. It's been a one-horse race out there today. Goalkeeper nowhere to be seen. No, he just seemed to lose his bearings completely, Martin. A really odd one for him. Comprehensive, that's the only word for it. Final. English Football League Championship. Aston Villa 3, Queen's Park Rangers 1. Birmingham City 1, Charlton Athletic 2. Blackburn Rovers 2, Derby County 1. Bolton Wanderers 2, Sheffield Wednesday 2. Bournemouth 4, Sheffield United 1. Brentford 0, Brighton and Hove Albion 5. Bristol City 1, Rotherham United 3. Ipswich Town 1, Norwich City 1. Leeds United 1, Fulham 2. Nottingham Forest 0, Wolverhampton Wanderers 3. Reading 1, Preston North End 1. Wigan Athletic 1, Cardiff City 1. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table, we have new leaders in Fulham with 26 points. In second, rising up the table, are Aston Villa with 26 points. In third, the former leaders, Queen's Park Rangers with 24 points. In fourth, Derby County with 22 points. In fifth, climbing the table, are Norwich City with 19 points. In sixth, moving down, are Brentford with 19